Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's somebody who uh, organizes organize all today to honor Roy. She's been working hard for three weeks to put this together, to put the funeral together, and uh, uh, she didn't know a celebrity before she became the cousin of Roy McDonald. But she's been uh, interviewed countless times now. She's met hundreds if not thousands of people who wanted to tell her stories about Roy. Um, I can say the same thing. I've met hundreds of thousands of people in the last few weeks who've told me the Roy stories. Um, I want to invite you all to Roy's birthday party, which we want to make an annual event the first uh, Sunday of June on the main floor of the Cup and Garden Market. So we'll see you this June the 3rd downstairs for Roy's birthday party. Is that a date? Yes, sir. All right. And the lady who made Roy's birthday parties come to life, and today come to life, will you please welcome back Julie McDonald. I think that's what you were talking about, Katie. And uh, I've had a lot of people message me on Facebook or send me emails that knew Roy that I did not know and people that have known Roy for 50 or 60 years. So I've been hearing a lot of stories as Bill has. And just a couple of days ago, someone messaged me and she wanted to let me know that um, a family member had died and she'd become estranged from her sibling. And um, someone had taken photos of Roy's funeral of people signing the casket. And so there was this photo of her signature on the casket and this woman's sibling commented on it. And they hadn't spoken in over three years. And so Roy, <laughs> still bringing people together and mending, yeah, and bringing love. So when I had read in his, um, been reading his journal over the past three weeks, and that was actually something that he had written one day in his journal about uh, how he loved people and loved meeting people and wanted to be kind to people. And when he met people, he wanted it to be a mutually beneficial exchange and how could he make this interaction the best that he possibly could as well as for the other person that he hoped that that would still happen even after death. So it was really touching that that woman sent me that message and let me know that it is happening. So way to go, Roy. <laughs> Thank you everyone for being here today. It's been a wonderful day. And I would like to do a few thank yous before um, we all join together and sing along. And uh, today would not have been as phenomenal a day without Bill Paul and his dedication over the past few weeks on the telephone everyone updated and contacting people and inviting them to speak and perform and recite poetry today. So thank you so much, Bill. And Don McLeod, Don Simpson Boys has been a big help making today happen. Thank you, Don. Um, also, a uh, big thank you to Joe O'Neill at O'Neill Funeral Home for making Roy's funeral happen and making it so special. If you were there, you know that it was a magical day. And um, thank you to Covent Garden Market for donating the space for us all to be here today. Tea House for donating unlimited amounts of tea. Uh, Smith's, McSmith's Cheese, Forget Me Not Flowers. Joe Cools donated a bunch of pizza. Sorry if you didn't get any, it went fast. It was here early. Chocolate Factory donated basket of chocolates. Um, am I forgetting anyone, Don? I'm sure I am, but thank you, Jeremy. Hobbs for all of your help over the past few weeks and uh, for your great writings on Facebook. Thank you, Jason Rip. I see you back there. Uh, Jeff Cuthbert, everyone that was here performing today. And uh, if I haven't met you, I hope to meet you at some point and I look forward to seeing everyone 
here upstairs or downstairs, we're not sure yet, on June 3rd.